Aseptic water sampling is a method used to avoid contamination of the sample during collection. If you follow this protocol, you should be able to collect a water sample without problems. First, put on clean gloves. Be careful not to touch anything that could be dirty, like the ground or your clothing. Wearing gloves does not automatically prevent you from contaminating your sample but they can help keep things clean. Make sure to clean your equipment with alcohol before sampling. Use a sterile sample collection container, either a bottle or bag, that is sealed. Do not break the seal until you are ready to sample. Next, clearly label the outside of the sample containers with required information. Include the sampling location, the date, time, GPS location, and initials of the person taking the samples. When using a pole, attach the bottle firmly using the attached clamp. Check that the clamp is tight around the bottle so that it doesn't detach while you are sampling. Choose a safe sampling location where you won't slip. Water samples should be collected as close to the outflow location as possible. This may be an irrigation system turnout, like the one shown here. Stand near the edge of the water. Remove the bottle cap. The lid will eventually come into contact with the sample, so don't touch inside and don't set it down. Hold the bottle facing neck down to protect it from contamination. The pole should be long enough to allow you to reach away from the edge of the water that you are sampling. Hold the open bottle over the flowing water. Quickly submerge the bottle about 5 to 10 inches below the water surface to avoid collecting floating debris. Collect the sample against the current using an arc motion without disturbing the sediment on the bottom or sides of the canal. Bring the sample container out of the water and hold the sample up to check the volume. If the container is too full, Pour some of the water out. The water level should be below the shoulders of the bottle. This leaves space so that the sample doesn't leak when shipped. It also allows for the sample to be mixed properly when it is processed at the lab. Replace the cap immediately. Make sure it is on tight. When sampling from a reservoir, use the same technique as if you were sampling from a canal. When sampling a piped water system, the main difference is that the water is collected from an open spigot. Find a sampling point that has a spigot or other hand valve that is as close to the outflow point as possible. Open the valve and flush for 2 to 5 minutes to clear the pipes. Turn the water off and clean the spigot with alcohol. Flush again for about 30 seconds. Remove the cap and keep it clean. Fill the bottle up to the shoulder. Replace the cap and put the sample on ice. Place the sample upright on ice up to the sample level. Complete all fields of the chain of custody form. Include the name of the person who collected the sample, sample ID number, date and time, type of sample collected, and the sample location, including GPS coordinates. This document tracks the movement of the sample from the time of collection until it arrives at the lab. Once all of the samples are collected in the field, they can be prepared for shipping to the lab.
Every time the sample changes hands, the new recipient signs and takes custody of the samples. The lab results will be returned as soon as possible. And that's aseptic water sampling for E. coli.